there is a lot of confusion when it comes to prey eyes and almond eyes. These are the most misunderstood eye shapes. Reason number one being, they are the most common among the populace. Second reason, the specifications are confusing and overlap with each other. So if the eye has a lot of major flaws like high amounts of upper eyelid exposure, a negative capital charge or severe scleral show, we simply categorize it as prey eyes to save us the confusion. Today's topic will be within the prey eyes themselves. We will talk about buggy eyes. What are they? What are the differences? And how to possibly fix them and improve your attractiveness? This video, like many others, will be split into two main parts. The first part will talk about the types of buggy eyes and part two will talk about possible ways to fix them. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. If you want to read more about topics like these, you can check out my blog at neurofacebreaching.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. There are two types of buggy eyes that are not usually differentiated. Exophthalmus sufferers. Exophthalmus is the protrusion of one or both eyes anteriorly out of the orbits due to an increase in orbital contents within the rigid bony orbit. It most commonly manifests in thyroid-associated eye diseases, such as grave disease. This one is the real buggy eyes, when eyeballs are extremely protruded and look like they will jump out out of the sockets. Extreme protruding eyes usually suggest that the person has an underlying health condition and a disease. A common cause of bulging eyes is an overreactive thyroid gland. But sometimes protruding eyes are just the anatomic structure of the person. Besides, resolving the underlying condition of the diseases that's causing it. This problem can be very often improved through orbital decompression. Here we have an example of a patient with inact preorbital fat around eyes and a very protruding and buggy eye appearance. The second type of buggy eyes is enophthalmus sufferers, the opposite of the first example. Enophthalmus is defined as the posterior displacement of the globe and an anterior plane within the orbit. Clinically, the eye may appear sunken and have a deeper superior sulcus with either an upper eyelid retraction, upper eyelid ptosis, or often both. Enophthalmus is the reason for the classic hollow eye look and can represent several conditions from atrophy of fat pads from aging to even bone loss from silent sinus syndrome. In this example, we can see a patient with severe hollowing on his left eye from preorbital fat loss, while his right eye fat pad is still intact. In this subsection, we will discuss the high importance that fat has on your face, especially the eye area. Preorbital fat fullness is a representation of huge and plays a viral steric role in the eye area, while losing malar fat and cheek fat can improve angularity and jaw definition. Loss of preorbital fat can be a deal breaker on the eye area and will certainly happen to all adults after a certain age. To some extent, male under certain body fat are usually the most affected, as we all know. Descending your body fat to a certain percentage will certainly cause an impact in preorbital fat. Aging process also plays a major role here, and some people tend to lose their preorbital fat pads very early in their adult life and end up with hollow eyes without knowing the reason. Preorbital fat is the major huge aspect Jared Leto couldn't keep in his amazing aging process. Killian Murphy is another example of someone that suffers from a form of enophthalmus. His eyes aren't buggy because they are protruding, it's exactly the opposite. They are very deep set without any fat covering surroundings. He has no preorbital fat, which explains his notorious cadaveric eyes. So let's talk solutions a bit. Old blepharoplasty methods are being replaced by new lifting techniques associated with fat grafting contradicting the old school line of thought in plastic surgery. The new aesthetic analysis in regards of the eye area, which has a lot of PSL knowledge contribution, is that techniques like upper and lower blepharoplasty that remove skin and eye fat pads heavily contributes to more aging and very often lead to extreme unesthetic outcomes. Those techniques are now being replaced by lifting techniques associated with fat grafting among good surgeons nowadays. That's why it is very important to educate yourself and never let surgeons lead procedures they want to do without your knowledge of what it really is. A lot of people and even Hollywood low IQ celebrities very often fall for procedures that they don't need based on flawed opinions of surgeons with old and retrograde aesthetic school of thought. Here we have Erin, forget her last name, famous actress from the series The Boys before and after removing upper eyelid fat pads through blepharoplasty and a bisectomy. She lost all her huge and beauty. The high importance of fat cells. Fat pads and collagen are the two major huge aspects in your face. Fat cells are the jack of all trade cells in your body. They are rich in stem cells that can become every type of cell in your body. They certainly help hold our facial structure in many signaling patch ways that are yet to be discovered by studies. Keep in mind that when you are leaning up, 
You aren't losing fat, only shrinking. But the cells are still there working. That's why you should avoid any procedures that permanently remove fat from your face. Even bisectomies. Only go for bisectomies in extreme cases. Some may never experience significant loss of preorbital fat and some genetically blessed ones have way more preorbital fat than the average people, even at low body fat percentages. Preorbital volume can also contribute to lifting the lower eyelids by giving support. Voluminizing it with fat or implants can aid lifting under the eyelids. Prime Adriana Lima had intact fat pads. David Gandhi has a lot of upper eyelid fat but lost some fat and support under his eyes with age. Here I will show you some impressive transformations of fat grafting. Keep in mind that any surgical procedures have side effects. Please consult a professional before considering cosmetic surgeries. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.